good evening hello can you see me can you hear me i hope that you can see me i hope that you can hear me hello okay i'm trying to load it up on my screen so that i can see what i'm doing mm, hello <laughs> okay so i think i'm live i think i think everything's working hello good evening um thanks for joining me tonight um glad to see you here I don't know who's here, so say hello. Let me know that you're here. Um, oh, Belinda, hello. <laughs> here comes the gang. <laughs> mm. Definitely. Okay. I'm loading up myself with a little bit of um, Red Bull <clears throat> to keep this thing going. <laughs> okay, so while people are joining, as per usual, a little bit of um, shameless self-promo. So... Last week I showed you this box, well, a very similar box, uh, and that was um, the workshop that we did last week. So we just finished it, no, this week, we just finished it earlier this week. And um, if you would like to still watch it in a replay, you can just head over to my website, there's a link in the description, um, and you can find it there. Other than that, so we completed that workshop and um, my next workshop is going to be on 1st of July next month and it's going to be a one evening workshop in which we're going to create a mixed media decoupage textured um, canvas. So we have some decoupage going on here, we have a lot of different beautiful textures, liquid acrylics, waxes, all of that good stuff going on here. So if you are interested, the um, workshop, like I said, is going to last one evening so we'll get all of this done in just one go um it is a 10 pound workshop so if you would like to have a look find out more information about it how it all works um sign up all of that good stuff there is a link in the description of this video um okay so that is my shameless self promo bit out the way um hi leanne hi vin how are you Shimona, hello. Moika, hi. Karishma, hello. How are you? Oh, La Lady Wolfgram, hello. <laughs> hi, I love your name. Okay, so today we're going to carry on working on this bauble. So this is where we got to last week. So we applied um, 3D gloss gel and some micro beads on top of it. Now tonight, just a few hours ago, I quickly applied some clear transparent gesso over the whole thing so that then we can um, carry on working on it and we have some grip on all of our metal embellishments and uh, whatever we do to them is hopefully going to stick now and then of course last week we also created this little medallion that is going to hang from the bottom of it so we have a dragonfly and a little face with um, some numbers and um, gears and everything on the inside, which will become a little bit more visible once we um, add the um, waxes and everything to them. Um, <laughs> thank you, Leanne. Mm. Yes, definitely give this video a thumbs up because then it helps YouTube recognize it as something that people are interested in. So, okay, I'm going to um, turn the camera around and twist you guys over so that then you can hopefully see everything in the right way. Bring you guys over, bear with me. Okay. Is this more or less straight? I don't know. I don't know what straight is anymore. Okay, so we have a little bit of a glare from the light. I'm gonna try and move it out of the way a little bit so that it's not so bad, um, hopefully. So I've got, as you can see, my mat here on the table. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit glary. I'll move it so that hopefully it's a little bit straighter now. Yes, there we go, okay. And let me see if I can lower the camera. 
bring it over and then lower it so that you can see a little bit closer, hopefully. All right, you guys. Um, I'm getting there. <laughs> Again, there's no uh, better way to do this at the moment, unfortunately. Um, okay, so... Again, like on my phone, um, if I look from underneath at my phone, it looks like everything is much closer. But then I, when I look at my actual screen in front of me, um, it still looks like it's quite far away. So I don't know what's going on, but it is what it is. So this is our bauble. Now I've uh, picked out some liquid acrylics here um, that I think I want to work with or um, start working with. So we've got carmine and ochre, which are two very, very beautiful colors. So carmine is um, red, um, red to like orangey color. And ochre, of course, is like a yellowy, brown, mustardy color. Um, so together they create really, really nice combinations of colors. So I'm just going to squeeze them out onto my... Palette. I swore that I wouldn't use this thing again, but it's just so convenient for liquid acrylics. <laughs> it's just so difficult to clean. So, oh, that needs to be mixed up. So if anybody um, has any good suggestions on how to clean um, these things, then let me know, please. Do let me know. How do I get this so that it stops glaring so much without turning the light off? Is it better when the light is off? I think it might be better when this light is off, right? Is this better? I think this might be a little bit better. <clears throat> okay. Shook it up a little bit. There we go. Right, now I'm going to add a little bit of water into my liquid acrylics get them watered down straight away and take a brush i'm gonna take this down because we'll work on it like one side at a time or like one stripe at a time so it'll be probably easier for me to just hold it like that now we'll need the light i think because it's looking a little bit dark come on light Maybe like that. Is this better? Is this less glary? Hi, Ronald. Hello, Carolyn. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to start just applying my liquid acrylics like this onto the bits where we added our um, 3D gloss gel and our micro beads in line like this. So a little bit of red and then a little bit of ochre over the top. Then I spray it with water and let it run down. One thing that I did not think about to get out, I forgot to get out, is a, a cloth to wipe up the excess. Okay. Diana, <laughs> is she here? Okay, let's clean up some of this mess that I just made. See, I should have got this out earlier. When it comes to liquid acrylics, I'm probably not like the most confident user of liquid acrylics. Um, I haven't been using them for that long. And, you know, I'm still learning my techniques, but you know what? Um, if I mess it up, then at least you get to hopefully not make the same mistake again as me. So this is kind of what we're going to go for. So one side at a time. And how is everybody doing? I'm going to mix and match the colors. So I'm going to add more ochre in places and then some red in places. Kind of just whatever I feel like doing, really. <laughs> My project at the end of the day. <laughs> how is everybody doing tonight? 
how was your week? How is your Saturday going? I hope that you had a really good week. So, spraying everything, making the liquid acrylic run, run away from me. Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? I hope that you can. Everybody's gone a little bit quiet. Hope that everybody's doing okay. Anyways, round surface is a bit messy to create with in general, usually, because you know, stuff runs down it. But I'm really liking the little weird textures and color runoffs that we're getting here. It's really starting to you know, transform from just like some random stripes. It's starting to now get a little bit more interesting. Not just um, some metal embellishments stuck to, um, to a ball. It's actually starting to come together a little bit. Okay, you can see me fine, that's good. Okay, is Ronald uh, Christiana? Christiana, is that you? Are you hiding? Hmm? Or am I... Am I offending somebody right now? <laughs> By calling them a wrong name? I hope that I'm not. Okay. Spray all of this business. Activate it. Am I using too much water? Possibly. But, you know what? I don't care. My week was very... She's incognito. Oh, I see. I see. We have some incognito going on here. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Who are you hiding from? <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of almost like a rust effect starting to appear, but with liquid acrylics. Again, a little bit rusty. Wipe this off as well, because <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a pool of water here. My week was very hot to begin with, and then it's now um, been cold and rainy again. So we're back to our usual, typical UK weather here. So I'm going to add some onto the flower as well. It's hard to see. I don't even know where I've gone over um, already and where I haven't, because the colour is running off in all different directions. Oh, that is looking so good, you know. I kind of want to leave this like that. I think I will. It looks like a like some like a bloody trail and I like it. I'm into this. Yeah. Yeah, I can always add more colour, of course. You can go over it again. Um I think I'm gonna leave this, you know, I'm not gonna wipe this away. I like it. I like it the way that it is. Actually, I'm gonna quickly get the heat gun out and see if I can dry it up a little bit so that it stays this way before it tries to run away from me again. <laughs> before it tries to run off. Another thing that with liquid acrylics is that they do change color a little bit. Uh, once they dry So like you, you don't really know exactly what they're gonna look like until they are dry At least in my experience Oh, I like this. This is gonna be a very creepy bauble <laughs> Hi, hello Hello 
Denise, how are you? Hi Penny, how are you? Cool drips, I know right? The the they're very nice, I like it. I think maybe we'll go for that kind of look. And then we'll just maybe tone it down a little bit with some brown liquid acrylic or something later on. I don't know what, where this is going. I was looking at it earlier, you know, um, today. And I was thinking, oh my God, I have no idea if I can pull this off or not. Because at the moment it's really looking a bit strange. But now... I'm starting to think that maybe, yes, maybe we can pull it off. Maybe we can do it. Okay. So we have a lot of runoffs here. Oh, look at that. That is looking so beautiful. I was working on a card and thought my heat gun accidentally turned on to go out a moment of panic. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to give you a mini heart attack. <laughs> but that would literally be me, I think, too. You know, if I was kind of um, zoned out a little bit and then all of a sudden I start hearing um, a heat gun go in, I would be a bit scared too. I would be thinking the exact same thing. As Bob the Builder would say, you can fix it. <laughs> can you fix it? Yes, you can. Right? Yes, we can definitely fix anything. It's just that how long is it going to take and will I embarrass myself in the process? <laughs> it's more of a... that kind of question. <laughs> okay, let's add some here as well. See how we started in doing everything in one way and now this is going in a completely different direction. But you know what? Again, I'm here for it. Very much here for it because this is looking cooler than, um, than I would have been able to come up with myself without a happy accident. My hands are going to look like I've murdered somebody. <laughs> At the end of this, oh my god, this is starting to look like a like a crime scene. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's give this a quick blast again and see where we are. See if we need to add any more colour. I am going to dry brush over it. I don't know with what yet and i want to add some patina waxes patina blue and patina green waxes to it um and some rust effect pa paste and stuff um there's gonna be a lot going on <laughs> but you know what like i haven't really i'm not that familiar with steampunk style in general it's not really something that i've tried many times so uh, I'm kind of learning as I go you know here as well um, now you can really call it a hot air balloon oh yeah <laughs> very much so very much so I'm more of a you know vintage shabby and kind of um, Mackenzie Child's look um, kind of girl so something like this is very much out of my comfort zone um, so I'm glad that I have all of you guys here you know to kind of help me out <laughs> along the way so if you have any suggestions oh my god this it is looking a bit like a murder scene I hope that YouTube won't like flag me for for <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you okay what should we add i think i want to add maybe a little bit of green maybe a little bit of avocado green um so oh maybe not no not avocado green yet maybe some burnt sienna i'm thinking some maybe burnt sienna Hi, 
Evelyn, how are you? Let's do some burnt sienna. I don't know where this is going. But you're coming along for the ride. Okay, let's add some... Let's tone down all of this a little bit. A teeny tiny little bit. Okay, I'm just going to pat this on. And then spray the whole thing. And then it's going to, will not hopefully, have reactivated these bits. I'll drag them down a little bit. Because what I don't want is I don't want any like visible bits where I definitely applied some paint onto. You know, I don't want like them the bits from the um, from the brush visible anywhere. Okay, I want to add a bit more here. And it's very drippy. Very drippy. Okay, now while it's dripping like that, I'm going to start drying it so that some of it kind of stays preserved. Uh, need that color. Oh, which one? Hey, but I'm watching on silent because I'm at my mom's. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. How are you? <laughs> I need subtitles. Somebody needs to uh, subtitle everything in the comments. Enjoying the ride. Love Rust and Patina. Oh, good. Good, yeah. anti <laughs> Thought you'd fallen off the first. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh yeah, you can't hear anyway, so. Okay, I want to add some more. Um, but like on top. Oh god, this is getting hot. Oh, we've got a bubble. Pop. Come on. Pop the bubble. Okay, now we're gonna add some drip offs from the bottom. Where is this going? I have no idea. But I hope that it will look okay. the trails. <laughs> Is anyone else loving the rusty look of the cleaning cloth? <laughs> I, just, I don't know if it's looking rusty or if it's looking like I've just been <laughs> cleaning up. <laughs> um, I better stop saying these words before YouTube flags me down and blocks my channel. <laughs> oh, but yeah, this is definitely a vibe. You can, you could definitely, instead of using one of these, um, you know, blue and white ones, if you use the, um, just a white plain cloth and then do this, play with liquid acrylics um, over the top of it and then like scan it over, use it as a, uh, as a texture for a paper or something. Yeah, you could definitely do that <laughs> or use it in your, um, and your scrapbooking project. Hi Terry, how are you? Okay, what else are we missing? I think we need to add maybe some... Do we need to add some... I don't know. I don't know what we need to add. I think we'll stop here for now. 
because we're going to do some dry brushing later on i want to add some va waxes and some um rust effect paste as well over the top so i think we'll leave it here for now and i'll kind of wipe this up for now set this to the side micro balls oh definitely well we already have some on here but um metallic ones yeah probably yes i'm okay thank you <laughs> okay right so i think we should add some what should we add so the plan is i want to add some blue and green patina waxes here and there in place in a few places um and then um, i want to br dry brush everything with like a bronze age wax um dry brush all of these bits so that they are nice and shiny um and then like the waxes are going to peek through underneath but then I also want a third color. I want a paint color to kind of peek through um, in places. So we have brown and white and what else would look good? I think maybe if we go for like a, for like the mana blue. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. I'll go for a little bit of mana blue impasto with a small natural bristle brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of paint. That failed, didn't it? Picked up loads of paint. <laughs> Hi Nelly, how are you? Okay, so now I'm going to brush over some of these corners because brown and blue look good together a lot of the time and I want a little bit of that blue peeking through I want like a a different color because otherwise it's all going to be very, um, very blue and um, very um, rusty and brown. And there's going to be like nothing, nothing showing through. And I don't want that. And I think, um, I think a little bit of blue won't hurt to go over the whole thing. Maybe we could even leave this instead of um blue patina wax and just add a little bit of green patina wax over the top later i had my first dose of the vaccination yesterday Woohoo! finally i'm allowed to get it done <laughs> it's my turn so I got it done and I had a little bit of a sore arm. Um, still, I, I can feel it a tiny bit now, but other than that, I'm all good. I'm very grateful. Oh my God, you guys, it was literally like a military operation in there. Let me just dry this a little bit because this bottom bit is still a little bit wet. It's like a military operation. You get into the surgery there's like a, a a marshal standing outside he take, takes your temperature lets you inside you stand in one specific spot until the next person has moved then you go to the reception they give you your paperwork and then um they guide you to your specific seat you, you sit there for literally like i sat there for maybe two minutes tops and then they um somebody else comes and takes you to this other waiting room in your designated seat 
um, and they literally like as soon as one person stands up somebody comes up with like wipes wipes everything away um, then you sit down you stand up they wipe everything away <laughs> then you go in and it's literally two minutes they talk you through everything and then you're out and then you just have to sit and you know wait for any side effects or anything but yeah it was a bit you know it is very apocalyptic <laughs> feeling because <laughs> it is so so like like a proper military grade operation in there oh my god it's just here it's just here how did i miss jess oh there she is hi hi jess how are you <laughs> how are you yeah so it was very quick efficient we like that and that was in and out okay let's carry on dry brushing i feel like i probably should have added more gears and um and stuff to it i think maybe there isn't quite enough doing awesome oh good oh good to see you too good to see you too oh no okay i should wait until i get over here because i'm starting to take off the um gloss gel over here where i heated it up just now why are you wobbly why is this wobbly okay and then we're also going to go over these flowers with blue quite heavily actually oh the flowers because yeah i think we'll just end up leaving this instead of um blue patina we might add a little bit of green patina in a couple of spots um but we'll just leave this as our patina and then we'll go over everything with a little bit of um, brass wax and add some rust effect I don't know. Is this steampunk? Can somebody <laughs> can somebody confirm that uh, what I'm doing um, can be considered? I don't know steampunk, or is this more more grunge? Because um, I don't know what the distinction is between those two styles and um, how to um, how do you know when something is steampunk and when something is more grunge and industrial i have no idea like i said i'm more of a well you guys know i'm usually more of a vintage swirls and um checks and harlequins and circus and celestial things than um anything very um grungy and steampunky so i don't know great day to craft it's 106 oh my god jesus that is that is yuck i'm sorry but that is yuck <laughs> that is definitely very yuck because that is so hot i can't imagine um how you survive in that kind of heat grungy steampunk okay good i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that <laughs> Oh, thank you, Sam. That means a lot coming from you, you know, because um, I think you are one of those people that really do understand the um, steampunk. Not that she can hear me if you're watching me on mute. <laughs> but um, I think Sam is, Sam is one of those people that is actually quite good at... Um, this kind of style. He 
Yeah, I bet it's so hot. It's got to be just, oh. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. a little bit so tell me about your week what was your favorite part from this week i need to get some of that glue and glue this back because this guy is trying to run away from me i think it's because it was already loose and then i got some water in there so we need to glue him back on mister where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to run away to? Stay with me! Belinda is definitely fabulous at steampunk. She is the queen of steampunk. And Sam has one of the best attitudes. You can't help but smile when you watch her. I know, right? The excitement. Sam is one of the happiest, upbeat, bubbly people that I've ever met. And that's why we love her. I'm trying to get into my um, super glue. The saga continues. Yvette still hasn't purchased um, a new super glue. <laughs> Signed up for your next class, which was exciting. Oh, good. Yes, you did. I remember that. Yeah. That is very special to me. When somebody says that them signing up for my class is a special moment. For them, that means a lot to me. So, thank you. Okay. Is this going to work now? Please tell me that you're going to work. Give me some glue. Give me some glue. There we go. Got a little bit of glue out. That should do. That should do the trick. Now let's press it on. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad that you had a lot of fun. Okay, is this on? It is on, right. Let's finish our dry brushing. Set you to the side before I super glue myself to the table. And as always, I started very, very lightly with a very light hand. <laughs> and then as I come around to the other side of my, um, of where I started, you can definitely see that uh, my heavy hand has taken over. So what are you gonna do? It is what it is, it is what it is. So. Okay, the blue is on. That's what it's looking like at the moment. I'm going to set this to the side and we're actually going to dry brush some of this blue over our medallion now. So I'm going to need to, do I have any, I don't have a thinner, a smaller um, natural bristle brush. So I'm going to have to use just a normal brush to get inside there. So I'm getting inside of the medallion to try and just show off some of the pretty elements that are kind of locked inside of it so i'm kind of just 
just trying to swish around everywhere <laughs> in there. And there you go, you're now starting to see what's inside there. At least you won't guys have to deal with me chatting constantly for the whole class. Well, we don't mind. Honestly, as a teacher, I personally prefer when people talk in the chat and and stuff. Obviously, it's not the same as like Leanne's class, which by the way, Leanne is doing another class on mushrooms. You are doing another class on mushrooms, aren't you, Leanne? Um, drop a link to your class, please, in the comments, because if you haven't taken Leanne's um, mushroom class, you're missing out and you need to take it. Because she will teach you how to make the most realistic looking mushrooms out of clay that I've ever seen in my life. And you definitely need to take that class. Um, besides that, Leanne is a very amazing person, amazing teacher, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Yes, drop the link please. We want the link. So I'm just kind of smushing over everywhere and then I'll move back over to my natural bristle brush for the edges. And everything because it's a bit bigger so it covers a bigger area and it's quicker let's make it blue Yes, <laughs> the mana blue is one of my favorite colors. Until I had this impasto paint, I used to um, mix my own shade of blue. Um, that was like a vintage blue out of whatever I had on hand. And it usually turned out looking very similar to this. So now I don't have to mix my own anymore. And it makes me very, very happy. Because even though mixing colours is something that I am capable of, it's not something that I want to spend my time doing, if I can avoid it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leanne. Okay, so Leanne's class link for her class, where you can sign up, sign up for her workshop is um, just there in the comments so please take a look and you need to learn how to make these amazing mushrooms okay now that i'm thinking about it i have not done anything to my attachment so we're going to be attaching it via a chain and one of these little things so i need to cut off my chain to the size that i want it to be which i don't want it to be very long i don't want it dangling down super um, low so I'm gonna try and see how long how long I need it to be mm. yes maybe around about there I need to snip it off now Where's 
snip off the chain. And before we can do anything else, we need to put some gesso on the chain because it's very, very silvery. And when we attach everything together, same with this thing. Um, when we go to attach everything, it's going to look weird with a silver chain. So we need to cover it in black gesso first. And this is not an easy task. As much as we can at least. So black gesso. Gonna blob it on. And this one as well. Had to swap from phone to PC, then back again. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So I'm just covering these in black gesso. And put it here. And then we can try and get it dry a little bit quicker with the heat gun. You didn't hear me just say don't put that blue brush in your chest. So. No, I did not hear you say that, but I just thought that um, just before I put it in, luckily, maybe you sent me the, the, um, the wave of thought my way. Yeah, it's going to look very, very vintage and very, um, grungy. Okay, let's do the other side. I cover it all in black gesso and I think we're also going to attach them all once I've covered them with black gesso I'm going to attach the main like um, this thing to the bauble while we're at it and then this chain to to the medallion so that when um, when I'm adding anything else to it, I don't forget about them because I do um, like to do that sometimes and just completely forget <laughs> that I'm also um, supposed to take care of these parts as well. Oh, we need a hoop, don't we? We need a hoop, otherwise I won't be able to attach the, the chain to the, what do you call it? To the hanger. Why don't they sell these in um, vintage look straight away, huh? Somebody needs to make it a thing. Rusty dangly bit. <laughs> um, maybe don't call them that though. People will get ideas. Okay. Let's keep applying that gesso. And then keep drying it. The hardest part about this is that... Um, The metal parts get really, really hot when you dry them. <laughs> they do look very cool, don't they? Oh, 
What did I say? Did I just... I don't know what I just said. There is not a single thought behind those eyes. Okay, right. Let's attach this little hoop to the chain. Okay, that is attached. Now we need some more. Of course, I need to find that hole again. Is this the hole? Okay, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, it goes in. Now I need to need my pliers and some more of that super glue. Put it on, come on. Squeeze out. Squeeze out. Uh, okay, tomorrow I must buy a new thing of super glue. Somebody please remind me. Rusty dangly. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe not the best um, term for this spe specific um, thing. Other things, yes, maybe not rusty dangly bits. Come on, I know that you was just. I just popped the hole, come on, please, come on out. Is this the content that you guys signed up for? <laughs> Me um, struggling with um, super glue. There we go. For 20 minutes. Okay. It is in. Now we just hold it there for a bit so that it can dry. Hi, Iris. How are you? How are you, my lovely? Okay. Now we can leave this for a bit. And we'll attach. No, not the hoop yet. I'll attach this on the carabiner like that. And now I can dry brush everything with some of that blue paint. Now I just need to dry them and we can move on to adding some, what shall we add first? What goes on first, rust effect paste or patina? Somebody please confirm. Hi Marisol, how are you? Well, now I know what not to do with super glue. <laughs> oh my god, hi! That's Terry, isn't it? I don't know. I, you see, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't always recognize everybody because um, everyone has different um, different names on... YouTube. 
Yes, I knew it. I saw the picture, the, the little tiny little circle and I'm like that. That's got to be Terry. I know that face. <laughs> I'll do rust first. Okay, let's do rust first. Let me get it first. Okay. Uh, gold rust, red rust and brown rust. Now again, what do we do with these? Do we use them all? Because I usually tend to use them all in combination with each other. Yes, there is another Terry. The original Terry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just going to add a combination of them here and there like i said i'm no pro when it comes to <laughs> grungy and um rust and um, all of that so <clears throat> okay right i'm gonna start with brown and just apply some brown all over some of the elements both original because of the spelling of our name that's right <laughs> don't have you fancy <laughs> yeah i think i think it's um you know how like when you're not very uh when you haven't used some a, a product like a lot but then you see other people using it a lot and they all get like very beautiful results you feel a little bit intimidated you feel a little bit like oh my god um they're gonna know <laughs> i'm gonna apply this in the wrong way they're gonna know that um, I'm an imposter, I'm faking this. Um, so, you know, it's like one of those. Okay, I'll, I'll apply some over, around the, um, the hang a bit as well, because I think it's gonna help us, help it stay in place. Because <laughs> that thing is quite, quite heavy, you know. So we'll put some brown on first. And then we'll apply um, the red and the orange later on over the top of it. Mm, okay, let's pop this back on here so I can hopefully hold it without smudging into stuff <clears throat> ah where did that go did somebody did anyone see where did that go a bit dropped just now <laughs> and i have no idea where it went Okay, I've smudged on some brown. Now, I know this is going to um, make some people very angry, but I just dip my brush straight into whatever I'm going to be using next. They're all going to get mixed up together anyway, so I don't care. Cross-contamination police is going to come after me. Um, seriously though, I get a lot of comments of people saying that I should not be dipping the brush directly into, um, into Mod Podge because, um, it's going to get cross-contaminated with bristles, um, of the brush and everything and it's going to go moldy and all of that and, 
I'm like, geez, you know, I don't have that much patience or time on my hands. <laughs> if I'm gonna have to um, separate Mod Podge into a separate container for me to then use it on something, I'm just not gonna bother. <laughs> right? <laughs> I had some, uh, quite a few people say that actually. Um, it wasn't just a one-off thing that somebody said, oh, you should be separating it into a separate container and then using it because otherwise you're cross-contaminating the thing and it's gonna go moldy and I'm like, Jesus. Also like Mod Podge for me doesn't usually last long enough for it to go moldy. <laughs> Okay, so we have some red rust. When they buy your product, they can have an opinion until then. <laughs> right? I don't know. I I don't have the time for that. Okay, let's put some yellow over the top. In a few places. I'm not going to add it on everywhere. Or maybe I will, I don't know, I always say that and then I go over everything anyways, so... Who knows? Alright, there we go. I do like this um, rust effect paste because like, it dries so matte. Like, um, the most matte thing that I've ever seen in my life kind of thing. And I love that. And I'm definitely here for it. Okay. Right. So we set this to the side for now. Let's add a little bit of rust to our medallion. I think with the medallion, I'm just going to go with rust on like kind of one side ah jesus okay kind of on one side like this so that then it looks like as if like the rust is starting to kind of eat away at it from one side maybe this side is more exposed to the elements or something and then so i apply brown over the top Red. Can you tell that I'm just kind of improvising? <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. This is where we're going to leave it. Now, I do need to dry it because I can't place it down because I just applied um, rust effect paste on both sides of it. Uh... There you go. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're too sweet. Why are you so sweet? It's definitely very different. I don't think I've ever created anything so grungy before. And I've done some vintagey grunge, you know. Some some Right? I've I've never seen I think it <laughs> you have to be a very special kind of person. To... Oh Jesus, I lost the ring. Okay. Is it is it too hot? It is a bit hot, so we'll have to leave that to fix it. It's a good job that it fell off now before I hung it up onto <laughs> above my desk. <laughs> right, exactly. I don't think it'll ever um, go off in my house.
Okay, that is dry enough for me to put it down and then we'll have to fix the the attachment in a second. Oh, well, thanks, Leanne. All right, let's dry this now. Sorry, again, I know this is not the content that you signed up for, <laughs> heat gun. But you've got to do what you've got to do, because otherwise we'll never get it finished. If I... Uh, um, if I stopped using the heat gun now, I don't know if I'd be able to go back to not using the heat gun ever. Because, honestly, the, the, uh, the speed at which I'm able to create now with the heat gun compared to how I used to create without the heat gun um, is next level. I can pretty much, you know, simpler projects I could create several a day. <laughs> it does I know someone with a huge pot <laughs> I, I know she keeps promising me <laughs> medallion looks like it has been sat in water and rusted right okay that's that's it I like that I like that that's the story that we're going for we're creating a story a backstory to our piece right now so what happened to it the whole thing is some kind of construction created from um leonardo da vinci's blueprints um then it was stolen by um i don't know crazy competitors and thrown in the sea and um what do we use this contraption for nobody knows it's a mystery <laughs> nobody knows okay so have a look at this do we need some green patina in there what do you think or should we leave it as is time for some um opinions ah should not be touching it like that <laughs> that could be yeah right <laughs> some green patina oh gosh i'm gonna have some cleaning up to do after this you know because, um, this is in the right state. I'm to find that green patina. Patina green, there we go. I know, right? We'll go with that backstory. I like it. Let me close these while we're at it before they dry out. <laughs> I'm gonna be adding it anyways. You guys are too slow at responding, so it's happening. Let's take a tiny little brush and just add a little bit of ah oh, crap. This is still a bit too warm, so the um the wax is kind of spreading around a bit much. This is a bit warm as well. Ugh. Okay. It's okay. We'll add a little bit here. On the inside. I think we do need green patina. You know why? Because of the backstory that we created just now. Um, just use my finger here. Um, if the whole thing has been sitting in water for a bit, then there's got to be some, maybe not so much green patina as much as green algae growing in places. Ah, oh, so maybe we should have just dry brushed some green. Oh, never mind. We'll go for green patina. So I just, I use the brush to apply it and then I kind of, Smudge it out a little bit. Apply a little bit here and there, kind of, you know, without going overboard, because at this point there is a lot 
going on already a lot of different colors a lot of different textures so without going too overboard with it we just kind of add a touch of green here and there Got a song stuck in my head, as always. Okay, I think that will be enough. And then our main dish, Rose Age Wax, which is my favorite. Now, let's hope that it will look good. <laughs> In the combination with everything else because you guys know I don't see the result until like it's actually out there I can't see it in my head properly everything's really blurry so like in my head I think it looks good but in reality I don't know yet so we'll add some bronze age wax The top view of the bauble as it hangs there looks gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Then let's add some, some bronze over. Over the metal embellishments, bring them back to life a little bit. it looks great I think yeah I don't think it's too much I think it's just right actually with the with the bronze now my last kind of I need you guys to cross your fingers that when I go to attach the medallion to it it's not going to fall off <laughs> and it's actually going to hold on Okay, right, so I've added some bronze wax over the top. Now, I just thought I want to add something in the centers of my little flowers because they're looking a little bit empty. Should I add some... Crushed, blah, 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 crushed jewels, um, jewel effect paste. I could, I could add like a little droplet of gold jewel effect paste inside. Um, what else I could add? Of course, I could also add micro beads. I have Finnabar's smaller ones, and I have little birdie craft slightly bigger ones in different colors the black red uh, pink purple gold silver blue um, do I have any screw heads um, not at the moment I'd have to pour them from molds I'd have to pour some molds for screw heads That is a good idea though. Should have thought about that sooner. Um, hmm. Or should I just leave them as is for now? And then maybe at a later date I could add some 
screw heads because that is a good idea when I pour some eventually hmm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking microbeads <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what color though. They're gonna be a bit too shiny. Everything else is very matte and very rusty. The micro beads are gonna be too shiny, I think. Unless I then paint over them. I think I'm gonna leave it for now. I can't think of anything to add right now. Um, I think it's probably best that I leave it at the moment and then. If I think of anything to add into them at a later date, I can always come back to it and add to it. It is easier to add to it when you're definitely sure about what you want to add than it is to take it away. Okay, right. I think we're finished. Let's, let me turn you guys around so I can kind of hang it up. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it's going to hold on. Okay, there it is. Da da da, it's holding on. Oh my god, look at that. It's a it's a flying medallion. <laughs> it's another version of a hot air balloon. There it is. So what do you guys think? It's a bit out there. It's very um patinated and grungy and uh, a little bit different but I'm happy with the result <laughs> when I was looking at it earlier today I was thinking can I make it work you know is it going to work is it going to look okay but I think it actually looks like a flying pocket watch <laughs> Like a fine pocket watch. I love it. I don't know. I'm happy with it. I'm I'm actually impressed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh good. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea to have something dangling. I think I'll have to go over this hoop because from me touching it so much, um the gesso rubbed off, so I'll have to touch it up a little bit later. But I think it's all looking, it's all actually like came together. Okay, well, there we go. Ah, oh, thanks, Iris. Okay, there we go. Well, thank you so much for joining me over these two evenings um, in the live streams and, you know, having a look at what we do. <laughs> Uh, oh well thank you so much everybody i'm so i'm so glad that you guys joined me for this um for this journey i'm gonna try and take some pictures of it tomorrow um hopefully in the daylight i've been lately um well since we moved here my, my eyebrow <laughs> um since we've moved there i've been taking pictures outside um because the light is so good and i don't really have a photo corner here um yet and um but now that it's been raining a lot <laughs> these past few days it's been a bit hard so i'll try and take some pictures as soon as i can uh but i really love the little flying pocket watch um i don't know it looks some, like something out of a um out of some kind of i don't know book or something <laughs> or like something that um definitely very steampunky I'm impressed with myself anyways I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm just repeating myself over and over again now <laughs> thank you so much everybody thank you so much for joining me for this live stream and we will do another live stream at some point next week I don't know um, when yet um, yeah I don't know when yet but we'll figure it out and I will try and do an announcement um, sooner than I have been or to you know give you guys a little bit of a um, of a warning <laughs> that I'm going live and all of that so again thank you so much and I will see you guys soon okay bye